Musicalities, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can crochet a very pretty poinsettia flower and it's also a very relaxing, quick and unique crochet project that you can create to decorate your house for Christmas. And if you guys enjoy crochet tutorials like this one, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's begin with the tutorial. So these are the yarns that I'm gonna be using for today's tutorial, so the green, the red and the yellow and I'm gonna be leaving all the information down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. I'm also going to be using a wire, so this is the one that I'm using and here's the brand of my wire. I'm going to be also leaving where I bought down in the description below for all of the items here that I'm showing you guys now. I'm also going to be using a wire cutter, a pair of scissors and lastly I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeters hook. So for the flower we have the bigger petals which are these ones right here and then we have the leaves right at the back as you can see and the bigger petals and the leaves they are exactly the same pattern so I'm just gonna explain to you guys how you create it and then you can just create in the green but I'm gonna show you guys anyways in the video how you put everything together and then I'm gonna show you guys the tiny petal and then also how to create the middle of the flower so I'm gonna be showing you guys with the green yarn and then I'm gonna be creating my leaf because with the green yarn is a little bit easier for me to show you guys in the camera what I'm doing first I'm gonna be doing a slip knot and then I'm gonna be chaining 13 so now you can skip the very first stitch and then on the second stitch we are going to be creating a slip stitch and then we are going to be creating slip stitches all the way down So this is how it looks like and you should have 12 stitches on both sides, so 12 here and 12 here. So on the very last stitch where we created our last slip stitch, we are going to be creating 3 single crochets on the same stitch. So 1, 2, 3. So now we need to find our next stitch. So my next stitch is right here as you can see. And my slip knot is right here. So the stitch basically after the slip knot. So this one is mine. So I'm going to be creating a half double crochet on that stitch. And then on my next stitch available, which is this one, I'm going to be creating a double crochet. So now for my two next stitches, I'm going to be creating triple crochets. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn two times around the hook. You're going to go through the stitch, grab the yarn, keep it on the hook, and then you're going to be yarning over the first two loops in the hook. There we go. And then the second two loops, and the last two loops. And then I'm going to be creating another one on my next stitch. So now for my next two stitches, again, we are going to be repeating quite the same technique, but we are going to be adding a little loop in the hook. So on the next two stitches, we are going to be creating a quadruple crochet. You're going to be wrapping the yarn three times around the hook, so one, two, three. And then you're going to go through the next stitch, grab the yarn, keep it on the hook. And then you're going to be yarning over two, and then yarning over the next two yarning over the next two and then the last two so four times you're going to be doing that and then we are going to be repeating again so wrap the yarn three times around the hook go through the next stitch grab the yarn and then yarn over the first two yarn over the second two yarn over the next two yarn over the last two so now on the next two stitches, so on this one and this one, we are going to be creating triple crochets. So exactly the same as I showed you guys at the beginning right here. So now on the next two stitches, we are going to be creating double crochets. So now you should have two stitches left. I have one here and one at the end right here. So on the next one I'm going to be creating a half double crochet. And then on my last one I'm going to be creating a single crochet. So now to continue we're going to be chaining three. 
So when you turn your project this way, you will see that on the very first stitch there is a back stitch right here. So I'm going to be getting that back stitch or the very first chain, it doesn't matter guys. And then I'm going to be creating a slip stitch. And then I'm going to go to my next stitch on the other side and then I'm going to be creating a single crochet. So now I'm going to be repeating everything again by starting from here and ending all the way to here. So I'm going to show you guys. So on your first stitch you're going to be creating a half double crochet. And then on the next two stitches double crochets. And then on the next two stitches we are going to be creating triple crochets. And then on the next two stitches we are going to be creating quadruple crochets. And then on the next two triple crochets. And also we can see right in the middle here the nice detail, so it kind of like creates a midrib for the little leaf and also for the flower because you can see here that the real one has as well, right in the middle there, you can see right here as well. So that's what we are trying to create as well, to be as realistic as possible. So that's why I created the slip stitches going all the way down so we can actually get one stitch from one side and then the other one from the other side and we can leave one stitch right in the middle. So let's continue with my next triple crochet. So as you can see right here we have three stitches left, we have one here, one here and one right here which is the last one. So on the next stitch available you want to create a double crochet and then on the next one we are going to be creating a half double crochet and then on the last stitch available we are going to be creating a single crochet. So now we are going to be using the wire to go all the way around the leaf to give more like a sturdier look. So this is what I'm going to be using. And then you just want to make sure that you have enough to go all the way around. But of course we are going to be using for all of the other ones so that's fine if you still have a little bit here left. So I'm just going to be putting on my lap so it's not going to be noisy for you guys. We are going to be using the wire to go all the way around the leaves and the petals as well. And it's basically the same technique. So I'm going to show you guys on this one. So you're going to be placing the wire at the back of the hook and on top of your project. Just like this. If you want you can just bend it a little bit like this so it's a little bit easier to work with. So now is the time that we're going to be using this one which we didn't do anything to create a slip stitch. And then we are going to be moving into this stitch right here. So just create a slip stitch on that stitch. So we are closer to the other side. So now we have to find the next stitch so just hold the wire with your thumb and your index finger and then just find the next stitch on the other side. So I'm going to be using this one and then grab the yarn, pull tight and then create a single crochet. The beginning is going to be a little bit weird but it's going to get very easy when you get kind of like in the middle. So now you're going to be finding the next stitch. The wire is going to be a little bit wiggly now but that's fine. And then you're going to be creating the single crochet and then the next one with the wire in the middle and then you're gonna go all the way up and then I'll show you guys what to do right at the top so also make sure that you have a little bit of the wire coming out of here because otherwise it's gonna go in and then you have to redo everything again so when you get right at the top where we've created the chain right here the chain of three you're going to be finding a little space you can see that one right here so here is where you're going to be creating a single crochet and then you're going to be finding the middle of the three chains, the top, you're going to put your hook through and then you're going to be creating a single crochet from here as well. 
so this is basically on top of the chain so right here we are going to be chaining three so we are going to be creating the same as we created at the top right here go back to the first chain on the back and create a slip stitch so this is what we are going to be doing and then you are going to be finding the next stitch so it's going to be this one right here and then you can just create the single crochet and then you can just create single crochets all the way down with the wire so I'm here on my last stitch and then what I'm gonna be doing chaining one then I'm gonna be cutting my yarn and then I can just fasten off so now I'm just going to be cutting my wire right here, like that. So now you just want to move around the little leaf, just like that. This is how it looks like. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be folding it in half. And then I'm going to be twisting the end of the wire right here. And then we are going to be weaving this in and then cutting the remaining yarn with both yarns right here. So here is the opening of my leaf as you can see. And this is the back. What I'm going to be doing is just bending the wire towards the back. And then just leaving it like this. I'm gonna be leaving it folded until I have all of my petals and my leaves completed. So here you can see a little bit better. I have the petal and the leaf together. As you can see, they're exactly the same. I've used the same technique for both of them because you can see on the real one that they are exactly the same. A little bit different, probably a little bit more wider, but it's basically the same thing for both of them. But that's how it looks like in the crochet. I think it looks quite nice. So now what I'm going to be showing you guys, it's going to be the tiny petal, as you can see, with the pestle right in the middle. So because the red yarn is a little bit too dark to show you guys in the camera, I'm going to be showing you guys with the yellow and then I'm gonna be creating the red one afterwards so I can put everything together. So first we are going to be creating a slip knot. And then we are going to be chaining nine. So you're going to be skipping the very first one. On the second, we are going to be starting with our slip stitches. And then we are going to go all the way down with slip stitches. And then on the last stitch where we've created the last slip stitch, we are going to be creating three single crochets. Also, if you guys want to work already with the yarn right here, you can do that. I usually do, but to show you guys in the camera, it's a little bit confusing for you guys to see if I have two yarns going on and then you don't really see the stitches that I'm that I'm using, basically. So now we need to find the next stitch. So we have the slip knot right here and then I have my next stitch right here. So on that stitch, we are going to be creating a half double crochet. And then on the next stitch, we are going to be creating a double crochet. And then on the next two, we are going to be creating triple crochets. And then on the next two stitches, we are going to be creating double crochets. And then right here we have two stitches left, we have one and two, so on the next one we are going to be creating a half double crochet. And on the last one we are going to be creating a single crochet. And then we are going to be chaining three. And then on the first chain we are going to be creating a slip stitch. 
and then we are going to be moving to the other side so on the first stitch we are going to be doing a single crochet and then on the next stitch a half double crochet and then on the next two stitches we are going to be creating two double crochets and then on the next two we are going to be creating two triple crochets And then we have three stitches left, so we're going to be creating one double crochet, one half double crochet, and then one single crochet on the last stitch. So now the next thing that we have to do is adding the wire all the way around, so it's basically the same technique used for the leaf and for all of the other petals as well. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be creating my red petal and then I'm going to be back with you guys to add the wire all the way around. So as you can see I have my red one completed and this is the yellow one. So now the next thing that we have to do is add the wire all the way around and we are basically going to be doing exactly the same as we did for the leaf. And we are also doing the same on the top, so chain 3, go back to the first one at the back and then slip stitch and then continue with the single crochets. So when you get at the end you're just going to be chaining one, cutting the yarn and then you can just fasten off. So you're going to be cutting the wire, you're going to be moving the petal around, folding it in half, twisting the wire here, and then just bending it down. And then with this one I'm just going to be weaving in and then cutting the remaining yarn. So now we are going to be creating the pastel right in the middle, as you can see, of the flower. And to do that, we are going to be creating one, as you can see, I'm going to show you guys on one and then you can repeat to all of the other ones. But we are going to repeat the same process that I'm going to show you guys with a yellow yarn in all of the petals, only in the tiny ones, only on this ones right here in the middle. So with the tiny petals, you're just going to open them up. So this is the right side and this is basically the back side. So what we are going to be doing, we are going to be folding it with the back side on the inside. So just doing that, show you guys again. So this is the right side, this is the back side. So we're just going to be folding it like that and then we are going to have the right side basically on the top. So I'm going to be using the yellow yarn and what you guys have to do now you have to attach the yellow yarn on any of the stitches quite close to the wire. I'm going to show you which one I'm going to be attaching. So to attach, I usually create a slip knot. And then you have to find a stitch quite close to the wire, but not very, very close. So if I face this way, you can see that the wire is here and then I have a little stitch right here going on, kind of like going across on top of the wire. And then I have this one right here, right on the top. So this is the one that I'm going to be attaching, but you can choose any other stitch to attach your yarn. So I'm just going to create a slip stitch right here. And then what I'm going to be doing is chaining five. And then I'm going to go back to my very first chain. And then I'm going to be creating a slip stitch right here. And then I'm going to be chaining one cutting my yarn and then fasten off. So what I decided now is to create a knot. This is up to you how you want to create that, but I've created a knot. This is what worked best for me. And then I can just cut the remaining yarn right here. And then if you want, you can just put a little bit of fabric glue here, but I'm not going to do that. But if you want, you can do that as well. So now you can just fold it back to normal. And then you're gonna have the yellow right at the top here. So before we put the flower together, you will need to have all of the petals and the leaves completed. So you will need five bigger petals and then four of the tiny ones. 
and then three leaves so this is how I decided to do but you can add or you can take away a few if you want but I think it looks really pretty how it turned out so I am gonna stick with that so first what you guys want to do is just open all of the petals and the leaves So now the last thing that we have to do is just to put everything together and create the flower. So I am going to be starting with the tiny petals, so these ones right here. So you can just get them and then you just want to straighten the wire. And then you're going to get two of them, putting them together. And then you're just going to be twisting the wire at the bottom until the end. And then if you want, you can just check where you're putting them as well. So just open it up and then just place the other one right here. And then go back. And then just twist with the other one. So now you can just add the other one. I found it easier just to have everything like this and then after I can just open them up and then just fix where I want them to be. For now I'm just going to show you guys how I did it and then you can just see how I do and then you can just find an easier way. So now I'm going to be getting the bigger petals, so these ones, and then of course straightening the wire at the bottom and then I'm going to be doing the same thing. So putting one and then twisting with the other wires. And then this one is the bigger one so I'm just gonna be putting one basically on top but not like on top like halfway through and then twisting So now we have four here, so you just need to find a little space for the last one. So right here. And then the leaves you can just leave at the end, so you can just choose where you want to place them. Because you can see right here on this flower, I decided just to leave a tiny bit, kind of like showing. And then on this one, I just decided to show a little bit more, so you can actually choose how you want them to look like. So now we can just open the flower. And then for the middle here, you just want to hold it and then push it down. And then now is the time that you can just mold all of them as you can see you can see that the flower is not perfect you can actually copy exactly the same that's why we have the wire because then we can actually just mold it to what we want so now is the time that you have to choose how you want the leaf to look like you can actually have it like this of course you have to extend a little bit more the wire to do that because you can see it doesn't really reach over here so now you can just choose what you want and then hold it here move to the back and then you can just twist it around so it just stays where you want it to stay basically that's how you do it there we go So for the wire, I'm just going to be folding it in half right here. I'm going to be cutting a little bit the end. Also the bottom right here will depend on the decoration that you're doing. So these are my three flowers completed and you can just play around and do many different Christmas decorations. You can do Christmas tree ornaments, 
you can do vases, you can also place it on the table for the Christmas dinner. You can just play around and do anything that you want basically, but this is how it looks like. It's super easy guys, and I think it looks so pretty, it looks so real. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. And I will see you guys soon on my next video, bye bye! Thank you.